Hi, my name is Bill Moffat, and I want to introduce you to the Airstone Air Mesh line of wireless farm networking products. The building block of the Air Mesh network is the Air Mesh Hub, a small, lightweight, weatherproof outdoor device that's only 13 inches long and about an inch and a half across. Because of the meshing technology, installing the Air Mesh network requires no technical skills because all the configuration is done automatically in the cloud by airmesh.com. The hubs are easily mounted anywhere thanks to the simple clip that allows you to attach it to a pole or to a flat surface. It gets its power from a small power supply via a standard Ethernet cable, so you only have to run one cable up to the hub. The hubs can be mounted in a variety of locations, including on top of grain legs and telephone poles, as long as they're up high in the air. They can also be powered from a solar panel and battery pack out in the field. The first hub in your network is called the Gateway Hub. It is connected to your router and is mounted outside, up high, and in the clear for maximum range, frequently up on top of your farm home, like this. Additional hubs, called remote hubs, can extend the signal and can be placed on outbuildings or on poles with solar panels up to two and a half miles away. The remote hubs are usually positioned in rings around a gateway hub, and you can use up to three rings of remote hubs with the last ring up to seven and a half miles from the gateway. That means you can potentially have Wi-Fi over an area 15 miles across. To connect stationary devices to your network, we have the air mesh receiver. This is also a small, lightweight, weatherproof unit, easily mounted on a pole like this. One of the primary uses for the receiver is to bring the network from the hub into farm offices, workshops, and other outbuildings. In this photo, the hub is mounted up high in the clear, and the receiver is mounted on the wall of the workshop in the background, bringing the network inside. The receiver can also be used to connect stationary devices like high-end IP cameras or, in this case, an irrigation pivot controller so that it can be controlled over the network. Now, if you're bringing your network into buildings, the receiver alone won't provide Wi-Fi. So we've developed this product, the AirMesh Indoor AP. The Indoor AP simply connects to the power supply of the hub, receiver, or air mesh bridge radio that's mounted outside the building and provides a nice Wi-Fi signal indoors. We also have the air mesh switch for providing extra Ethernet ports if necessary. Next I want to show you the air mesh bridge. The bridge consists of two radios, and the best way to think about it is as a five mile long wireless Ethernet cable. You connect one radio to the network and the other radio to whatever you want to join your network. Here you can see it in testing out in California. The other bridge radio is on the farthest hill you can see there, five miles away. The bridge was originally developed for folks who wanted to put their gateway hub up on a grain leg for maximum range. They connect one end of the bridge to the router and mount the other end of the bridge up on the grain leg. The hub can then be connected and mounted so it has the best possible range. The bridge can also be used to jump your air mesh network from one field to the next, up to five miles away, and I'll show you how that works in a minute. The most frequent question we get about the air mesh network is about the range of the hubs. In particular, of course, your laptop or cell phone has a much weaker Wi-Fi radio than the hub, so it has a much shorter range. How can you use your mobile devices when you're out of range of the nearest hub? We've solved that problem using a special hub for your tractor, truck, combine, or utility vehicle. It's called the cab hub, and it's just a normal air mesh hub with an external magnetic mount antenna and a power cable to plug into the 12 volt utility plug. It keeps in touch with stationary hubs up to two miles away and provides you with a local Wi-Fi signal. Here you can see it installed in a tractor. The antenna is just above the cab. The hub itself mounts inside, here using a ram mount on the mounting rail. This keeps you in touch with your air mesh system and on the internet when you're out working in the fields, allowing you to use Wi-Fi equipped devices while you're working. Now let me show you how this all comes together. Folks typically set up a hub and one or more receivers to have Wi-Fi outdoors in the farmyard and connect stationary devices in buildings. You can see there's also an indoor AP in the barn for indoor Wi-Fi. Next, they can easily extend the network into nearby fields using more hubs. However, most people don't have a big contiguous piece of land. They have fields all over the place, and the bridge helps them connect those distant fields. You can attach bridge radios to hubs, and then connect more hubs to distant bridge radios for Wi-Fi in those distant fields. That way you can have Wi-Fi across your entire farm.
This has been a quick introduction to the Airstone Air Mesh line of products. To learn more, please look at the rest of our videos on our YouTube channel, and please check out our website at airstone.com. That's A Y R S T O N E.com. You can also email us at info at airstone.com or give us a call if you have a specific question. Thanks again. Thank you.